What's going on YouTube? Chris Brown here again. No nonsense, no how. And today I would like to present you an update and response to a previous video I put up about a year ago. Today I want to show you these nine emerald green arbor buddies I planted four years ago and I want to tell you how I made some mistakes. I'm going to show you how they're doing, how I made out with transplanting two of them, and then we're going to go and answer some of the comments and concerns that you uh, you people commenting had. We'll start by laying out the time frame for you. Today is July 11th, 2020. That video was posted in, I believe, January 2019. And it was actually footage that was roughly three years old. So it was shot back in 2016. So they had been in the ground for three years before that video. They were all exactly six foot tall once dropped in the ground and planted so out of the ground they were you know like eight foot tall when i had them on a trailer and i planted them exactly 30 inches apart from center of trunk to center of trunk just to make it clear since i had a few people ask they were saying did you go from edge to edge and no i literally went from the center of one trunk to the center of the other trunk and that was 30 inches now in the previous video you might remember i had an issue in the corner here this corner one was getting boxed in by these. The other mistake I made here is I put one in the, in the corner here and you know what she's gonna just get covered up here. These two are gonna grow in together and it's gonna be a problem. So these have now been transplanted. What I did and well you can see I still have a bare area that has not grown in but I'm completely okay with that because it's it's given them room to breathe and more privacy on the deck which I'll show you in a minute here. But I went ahead and dug up these two pushed it further out that way and over and same with this one you can see I used to have a chain link that rode right up on the house I have removed that and put uh, some cedar fence in back here so uh, yeah plenty of room to hang out back here and they were actually pretty bulb on the back side originally too because they were just so tight up against each other but they're they're growing back in you can see this one you know she's still struggling a little bit but I think once you give them room they they do come back to life in the process of doing that I also brought this grade up probably a good foot and a half when I put this fence in and I burned it up toward the house so I got a nice slope coming off the house now because I used to have water pulling over here in a downpour so don't have that anymore and that raised the arborvitaes up a little bit too for some more privacy now I did just run a tape measure on these and the tallest one on the end here is just under 12 feet I should also mention when I did the transplant of these I went and topped them all about two feet off the top. So even with that, they're still double the height they were when I originally got them seven years ago. Jumping around here like I always do, let's pan over to my neighbor's arborvitaes that were planted at four feet apart, trunk to trunk. But if you look to the other side here, um, I actually planted those two on the left just last year and they're doing great. They were they were about seven seven feet tall when I put those in. I got them used, uh, dug them out of the ground and I mean, they're, they're doing excellent too. So hopefully they'll catch up to his you can see they are doing excellent with the exception of one that he lost during a snowstorm. Uh, so that's unfortunate to see, but he did top these a couple years ago and he took like like four, four or five feet off the top of these things. And they were looking pretty rough for a while, but you can see they're, they're peaking again. And the two that I had planted on the end, the used trees, which when I said used trees, I meant I dug them up from somebody's yard that didn't want them. and replanted them instead of going to a store and buying them from a nursery or whatever the case. So yeah, use trees. I know it sounds dumb. By the way, God bless America. This flag's getting a little faded though. Definitely got to replace that soon. Uh, not much else to see over here except for the fact that I'm very happy I put this six foot cedar fence in because they were starting to get a little bit thin on the bottom. I used to have the chain link in there and uh, yeah, they looking pretty good. It's a good day to shoot this video because we're getting partial cloud coverage too. So you can see the way they look in the clouds and the sun. Uh, just touching on this outside shower that I was talking about before. I still use it every single day. And if you don't have an outside shower already, you should make yourself one because it's, uh, I mean, nothing to it. You just run some hoses out here and my setup's pretty pretty hack but it works and I love it and I use it every single day okay so obviously a different deck now but what I want to point out here is when you look over here you can't see in my neighbor's window anymore since I transplanted those two but if I'm eating out here on my porch I wanted a nice privacy fence over there so you know it's it's looking pretty good now I, I, I do you know they do a good job so I'm really glad I did that and I wanted to show you guys this because you can see they are coming back. They're growing in. When I first transplanted these, they were looking pretty rough. I will mention I did this in the fall. You don't want to transplant these in the summer ever. 
do it in the dormant season or before the dormant season because then when the spring comes they will come back to life if you live in a snow region something you might want to consider and this is a great opportunity to show you since this one doesn't have much foliage but I went ahead and added some of these uh, tree ties. I'll, I'll plug links to this stuff down below. You can get a roll of it for pretty cheap on Amazon. I put it about five feet up there and then down on the bottom too. Because these don't do tremendous in snow, these branches will start to bend over and snap. So uh, that's definitely a worthwhile upgrade if you have these. Let's touch on fertilizer. I am no plant pro by any means, but I do fertilize mine usually once in the fall and once in the spring. When I put that video up, I mentioned that I used Hollytone, and that is what I was using, but somebody commented that uh, I shouldn't be doing that. So I went and did some research, and he was right. I'm now using Plant Tone. It's very similar, smells very similar, but just has a little bit different uh, molecular makeup. And all I do for that is take one full cup per shrub. I spread it around the drip line, usually before a rain, I try to, or if not, make sure to hit it with some water, and that's it. And now to just touch on some of the comments, Kate Diaz said, the color looked like shit. It ought to be lush green, bro. Well, if you paid attention to video, you would have seen it was taken in the winter time since there were no leaves on the trees in the background. So they were in the dormant season. And yes, they're not quite as lush uh, during the dormant season. Industrial Repairer said, or you could just buy a home where your neighbors are further away. Yeah, I could if I was rich, maybe one day. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, 2009, O said, did you plant them 2.5 feet center or from the leaves? And yeah, I answered that because a couple people asked me about that. So 2.5 feet or 30 inches from center to center. Adrian, along with some other people said, how the F are trees used? LOL. Yeah, I, I answered that. Uh, since I didn't go buy them at a nursery, I considered them used trees. <laughs> Yax Pakpa said, trees are like people. The older they get, the more space they need. Amen. I agree with you. He got 33 likes on that, too. And Bobby's the one that said you're not supposed to use Hollytone on Arborvitaes because it's too acidic. Plant Tone's recommended. He's right about that. I researched it, and that's why I'm using Plant Tone now. So thanks, Bobby Gonzalez. Karina said, what if the spot gets a lot of sun? I've seen them scorch. Yes, absolutely. If they are in full sun all day long in the middle of a field, they do scorch. I've seen that happen. So uh, don't use Arborvitaes if you're doing that or make sure to have an irrigation system for them. But moral of the story here is if you want fast privacy, two and a half feet works. Seven years later, they're doing great. And if you've got the extra time to wait, four feet works too, and they will eventually grow into each other. And that puts a wrap on it. Done talking about Arborvitaes. Just wanted to make this update video to set a couple things straight and also show you what they're going to look like if you plant them at two and a half feet. So make sure to drop me a thumbs up, comment or subscribe if this video helped you. Check out my channel, anything like that is really uh, appreciated and it's pretty hot out. I'm gonna get to work now putting hydraulic lines on this tractor or hoses. And uh, yeah, till next time, this is Chris Brown here. No nonsense, no how, and I'll see you next time.